more scientists confirm volcanoes rapidly melting Antarctica's ice sheets. On June 22nd, a team of scientists from the University of Rhode Island and University of East Anglia announced in a paper published in Nature Communications that they had discovered a new factor in the rapid melting of Antarctica's Pine Island Glacier, a previously unknown active volcano buried deep under the ice. When combined with another scientific study released in 2017 by a team of scientists from the University of Edinburgh, which announced the existence of 91 volcanoes buried under West Antarctica's ice sheets, in addition to the 41 previously discovered, a disturbing conclusion is reached. West Antarctica's ice sheets are being rapidly melted from a vast network of buried volcanoes which are far more active than scientists previously thought possible. The June 22nd paper, Evidence of an Active Volcanic Heat Source Beneath the Pine Island Glacier, summarised what is currently known of volcanoes that make up the West Antarctic Rift System. To date, as many as 138 volcanoes have been identified throughout West Antarctica, including the presently active Mount Erebus, along with the Terror Rift, as well as Mount Sippel and Mount Waish, which both show evidence of recent activity. However, the locations and extent of volcanic activity along the West Antarctic Rift system are debated, because many of these 138 known volcano-like features are buried beneath several kilometres of ice, and some evidence suggests that much of the interior subglacial West Antarctic Rift system is dormant. End quote. The assumption that the majority of West Antarctica's volcanoes are dormant is increasingly being challenged by new scientific discoveries. Telltale signatures of volcanic activity are being found in ocean waters as evidenced from rare isotopes such as helium-3 which was used by the authors of the Pine Island Glacier paper to reach their conclusion. In addition, Heat increases and seismic activity in Antarctica points to large amounts of magma moving deep below the West Antarctic ice sheets, as the June 22nd paper suggested. Quote, the apparent surface deformations in the West Antarctic ice sheets thickness also suggest localized heat fluxes that are most likely volcanic due to their intensity, while ash layers from ice cores reveal more recent eruptions. Last, the detection of earthquakes as recently as 2010 suggests magma migration beneath the Executive Committee Mountains in a region of Marie Birdland where seismic studies have revealed thin crust and low density mantle material beneath. End quote. According to Professor Karen Haywood, one of the co authors of Evidence of an Active Volcanic Heat Source Beneath the Pine Island Glacier, quote, the discovery of volcanoes beneath the Antarctic ice sheet means that there is an additional source of heat to melt the ice, lubricate its passage towards the sea, and add to the melting from warm ocean waters. It will be important to include this in our efforts to estimate whether the Antarctic ice sheet might become unstable and further increase sea level rise. End quote. While the June 22nd paper focused on the impact of the buried volcano melting the Pine Island Glacier, the wider impact of other buried volcanoes on the West Antarctic ice sheets was briefly mentioned in the abstract. Our finding of a substantial volcanic heat source beneath a major West Antarctic ice sheet glacier highlights the need to understand subglacial volcanism, its hydrologic interaction with the marine margins, and its potential role in the future stability of the West Antarctic ice sheets. End quote. The new findings about the influence of one or more active volcanoes to explain the rapid melting of the Pine Island Glacier, along with the temperature increase and melt-offs observed elsewhere in the frozen continent, all point to powerful transformative events in West Antarctica. The following long-term temperature map of Antarctica alongside the newly discovered volcanoes show how and why West Antarctica is heating far more rapidly than East Antarctica. The left image shows temperature increase in Antarctica from 1956 to 2006. 
The right image shows the 2017 discovery of 91 new volcanoes in Antarctica. If global warming due to carbon dioxide emissions was the explanation, then warming oceans would be uniform in heating both East and West Antarctica. Yet most scientific data points to West Antarctica melting. The June 22nd paper, along with other scientific studies, provide a cogent explanation for what is really driving the melting of the West Antarctic ice sheets. The submerged volcanoes are more active than previously thought and are melting the ice sheets far more rapidly than scientists believe possible. If we take the upcoming solar cycle 25 from 2019 to 2030 as the catalyst for triggering volcanic activity around the Earth through increased solar activity, West Antarctica's ice sheets could disappear in as little as a decade or so. There are four major effects that will occur from West Antarctica's ice sheets disappearing so quickly. First, ocean levels will rise far more dramatically than previously thought. If all the ice in West Antarctica were to melt, ocean levels would rise by 10 feet or 3.3 meters. Rather than humanity having centuries to prepare, as estimated by many geologists, it would only have a decade. Second, Whistleblower claims that there are large subterranean bases in Antarctica that belong to multiple secret space programs dating back to World War II will be exposed for all the world to see. It can be predicted that nations and corporations managing such classified programs would not allow themselves to be preempted by geologic events and accelerate official disclosure initiatives. Third, Ancient artifacts of a flash-frozen advanced civilization buried under the Antarctic ice will be revealed, confirming rumors and eyewitness accounts of such a discovery going back to the early 1990s. The technologies and knowledge acquired from such discoveries is likely to provide humanity with rapid scientific revolutions spanning aerospace, health, archaeology and even religion. Finally, the rapid melt-off of West Antarctic ice will impact the centrifugal forces driving the Earth's axis of rotation, thereby leading to a possible pole shift as discussed by Charles Hapgood and Albert Einstein in the book The Earth's Shifting Crust, published in 1958. Scientific corroboration of Pine Island Glacier being melted from underneath by volcanic activity should serve as a warning about the profound effect of such a phenomenon repeating itself throughout the entire chain of volcanoes buried deep under West Antarctica and the powerful implications this holds for the entire planet. This has been Dr. Michael Sala with exopolitics.org. Please note, I've provided documents and testimonies addressing many of the above issues in my 2018 book, Antarctica's Hidden History, Corporate Foundations of Secret Space Programs. I will be discussing the book and the latest scientific findings about Antarctica at the following upcoming events. An online webinar on August 11, 2018, which will be available worldwide through the internet. The Dimensions of Disclosure Conference, which will be held at Loveland, Colorado, August 17-19, 2018. The Empowered Light Expo, Philadelphia, which will be held on September 29 and 30, 2018.